Woke up this morning, minus 6 degrees in Massachusetts. Extremely cold. Got the extra heater going on in here. But today's focus is Ravel's classic 1974 release of Tweety Pie, The Rod Father. And I have it in this giant case, which you can't get anymore. These are beautiful. With the, uh, the Foose, the Foose truck, which came out cool. It's in turquoise. Buffed out. Pretty cool. And that's great, but that's not the focus today. So we're going to move you. Goodbye. Today's focus is the Rod Father. Matter of fact, I'm going to take you and. Whoa! <laughs> Let's try that again. Almost lost it. Posable steering kind of works. Very fiddly Ravel. But this was a. Uh, a converted Tweety Pie 2 to Rodfather Specs. My buddy Bob, too old, on the Model Car Magazine forums, gave me a, this set of decals, mint, but they were old, so I clear coated them with some uh, testers decal saver, more or less. Put it in the sun for about two days in the window a couple of months ago already and uh, cut them out very closely used very warm water and setting solution and I got them to work pretty amazing got some screen in the front that was uh, inspired by Bob yellowed out the uh, yellowed out the lights blue heat stain the headers Got some lavender plug wires. Those are uh, it's the aluminum tube uh, that I made for the uh, for the injector stacks. Um, so a Tweety Pie 2 comes with disc brakes in the front, which is really cool. These fire stones are out of a Pro Street kit. I can't remember. These are 124 scale rims from the new Chevelle, the 66 foot nose, and that's the front tire and rim from it, and that's the rear rim. And uh, it worked out. I had to trim the tire a little bit, but it worked out great. So uh, and we have some gauges and a white interior. Um, acetate windshield on there. And you can see that I got some Molotov on the, uh, the rear view mirror. You drill a hole in the acetate and you put the mirror in there. Not for the faint of heart, I assure you. Um, body comes off. I don't have the steering linkage hook up, hooked up yet, and I will at some point. But once it's once I once I leave this bloody house and I get into my new permanent residence, I'll uh, I'll hook that up permanently. But right now, it's that's the only thing that's missing. It, it's in the box with the rest of it. But here it is. The steering linkage in there and there. So this is Arctic Blue Metallic. I have not painted that Ford on there yet. I'm not feeling that. I'm looking for a decal. Uh, whether I find one or not, uh, maybe one day I'll just go ahead and paint it on there. It's got flocking on the interior. That door opens, but it's not really hinged. It's hinged in, a, in as much as it, it, it's a friction fit. It's not a real hinge, but, uh, but it works. And the only thing that I haven't done, like I said, is... Um, hooked up the, the drag link. But uh, this is a classic kit. Um, you can build one. I think someone makes reproductions of these decals. They're pretty psychedelic along the cowl. Pretty psychedelic. Um, very fiddly for classic uh, Ravel. Everything is in scale, which means it's thin. Uh, I re-chromed a few things with uh, Alclad 
to take away seams. There is a photo etched bracket on that alternator. I don't you can see it. Just because I don't like alternators hanging out in space because they just don't do that. Even the way it is, it doesn't make any sense because the bracket wouldn't hold it. But it's better than no bracket. <laughs> uh, I redid. I didn't use the kit supplied uh, upper hose. There is a lower hose too. You can't see it. But uh, I made that out of just a piece of hose with a, a piece of metal in it. And then I shaped it and just attached it. Um, what else? That's about it. This doesn't have a lot of features. But this is a real classic kit that uh, really looks great on the shelf. And it looks great next to other cars. Uh, you put it next to this truck. And, you know, and it just looks great. It's really killer. Really happy to have this kit. This was a grail of mine. And Bob, too old. I uh, thank you for the decals. I should have scanned them. I have a really good high res scanner. I should have scanned them. But I did not, like a fool. But there are guys out there that remake these, so I'm not gonna not gonna sweat it. If you wanted to make one, they're redoing Tweety Pie 2. Uh, they're gonna reintroduce it shortly. Uh, maybe this year, maybe early next year. So, you'll be able to make this car. All the parts will be in there to make this car. You may have to get some tires. I think it's going to come with those little rubber tires, which are terrible. But I would suggest these Firestones out of an AMT or Pro Streets out of, you know, a Ravel kit or something. And different wheels. I use these. I think they look great. Um, you might like something else. I don't know. It's up to you. Your models are your models. You get to do them as you like. I do mine as I like. I just want to take a quick look at the Foos. This came out really good. That's, uh... I put an AMC cat on the back. <laughs> That's kind of a... Kind of a twist. Um, it came out real nice. Very smooth paint. It's a super, super duper kit. White interior with the decals it looks great so i thank you for watching my car video my model car video i don't do many but i'm starting to pick it back up again so we'll uh i've been b building this whole time so I'll, i'm gonna start showing what i've been building thanks for watching the rod father